Hi, we're here with uh, Sarah Marika Bono, and uh, she is a graduate of our uh, Breathing Deeply Yoga Therapy Advanced Program. She's CIAYT, and um, we're going to be talking about a client she worked with in our advanced practicum. So thanks, Sarah. Nice to see you. Hi, Brant. Um, why don't you tell us about um, this client, uh, what their condition is, and um, how you came to work with them? Uh, so this client, uh, we worked together for about a year, and he came to me because he was having, uh, he has he had Crohn, Crohn's disease, and he was having symptoms associated with that. So he was not really doing well. Um, he was having a lot of um, intestinal pain, a lot of um, bowel movements every day. And he said he felt like his intestines were on fire. And when he was in a flare, he said that he felt like his whole body was on fire. Um, he had been hospitalized a few times for high grade fevers. Um, and he was just having some trouble managing managing the disease. And um, he was a yoga student um, and he kind of was learning more about yoga therapy and he was interested in the process. And so he asked if, if we could work together and he was really kind of a, a great, he was a great candidate for that because he was, uh, yes, he did have some yoga experience, which was helpful, but he was also kind of very open and receptive to learning new things. Yeah. And I'm sure he sounds like he was really suffering. So yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people end up coming to us for that, right? Cause they're they're ready to try something, anything to help them. So he's right. got this challenging um, disease state with Crohn's. So, um, okay. So you took him on as a client and mm -hmm. maybe you could just give us a little bit about um, the kinds of things you taught him to do and sure. uh, what they did for him. Sure. Yeah. So uh, when he first came to me, you know, what I saw was um, a pretty like dysregulated lifestyle, like a pretty dysregulated nervous system. There was a lot of anxiety. Uh, there was a lot of fear. Um, he had been diagnosed uh, maybe two or three years prior to us starting work together. And um, he was in his early twenties. And so he didn't want to go on immunosuppressant medication. Um, he really enjoyed traveling and he didn't want to risk getting sick. And so he was really avoiding using medication. Um, and he also, um, he, he kind of wanted to approach more natural, using more natural ways of managing his disease. Um, so the, the first thing that we did was work on regulating his nervous system. So getting him to calm down essentially, and like give him, give him some tools for stress reduction. And that looked like, um, essentially moving and breathing at the same time in a pretty particular way. And I also int introduced him to this idea of like minimal effort in the yoga practice. On the physical side, he was uh, practicing fairly vigorously and fairly physically in, in, in a physical, physically intense way. And so I kind of introduced him to this idea of really just backing off, um, which he was very receptive to. And um, almost immediately, there was a pretty big shift just in how he felt as a result of practicing that way. Um, yeah. And what was that? Like, how did he, what was this? So he, he starts practicing in a, in a more gentle way and probably with a lot more breathing instruction. Right. Right. Um, right. And then, uh, and then what was the result of that? So he said that he felt calmer. He felt more focused and more, more present. Um, and he, he was practicing, uh, I think every day at that point in the morning, first thing in the morning. Okay. So he's practicing every day. Now, of course, he has this pretty, uh, sounds like advanced or, you know, severe when there's a disease state happening, coming on and off. Is he is he having flares? Yes, he was having flares. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he thought that he was kind of in a in a long term flare at that point. I see. So you do this with him and he does this for how long? Um, he, he actually used that practice throughout our entire course together. Um I had started with that practice as well as um, meditation, as well as yoga nidra. 
uh, which is a specific type of meditation that puts you into a state of of constructive rest. And he also was using that every day after his physical and and breathing practice. And so that act of rest was also beneficial at at like giving him time to uh, really take time for himself. Mm-hmm. You know, kind of giving him that space to work on his own stress reduction and and help him manage manage his disease state okay so we're hearing like that he's really reducing his stress levels did did those affect his disease state at all um so he yeah so he noticed that stress was a big catalyst for intensifying symptoms and so while his symptoms never quite went away during this point they did reduce and as we were working together towards the you know towards the early stages of us working together in in the early months he he did have a few kind of more acute moments, but he recognized, he was able to recognize that that was tied to increased stress at work. Um, and uh, he was kind of better able to bring himself back into a state of, of calm. I see. Yeah. Great. Then how did it end kind of? So you worked with him for how long? Yeah, so we worked together for about a year. And throughout that course, several months in, he he essentially decided that he needed to make the transition to going in on onto medication mm-hmm. and so he he was he had been having trouble making a decision as to which medication to take um and finally with his doctor he was able to choose a medication that he felt was going to be most beneficial for him and at the same time kind of leaving him able to live a life that he wanted to live. And he attributed that clarity in part to the practices that he was doing. Um, so he he felt like he was able to sort out all of the um, extraneous information and really focus on making a decision. Um, and so he he did eventually go on medication and it, you know, we we still worked on the yoga practices to help him continue to manage his stress because he saw that stress was a major, a major component of the disease. And it was, he he finally, he decided that, you know, our work was concluded that he he felt like he didn't need to come in anymore. And um, it was a few months after that, that he let me know that he's in endoscopic remission. So there's no evidence of disease state through the, through the endoscopy. Lovely. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you, um, so I think what's interesting is so you, you gave him these practices that are designed to sort of reduce anxiety, promote mental clarity, and then also affect the nervous system and hopefully affect his disease state. So that's what happened. Right. Um, yeah. And this is a, a, you know, maybe not not atypical case where somebody has uh, something that's very difficult to treat. And, you know, the practices you helped him learn were part of his care, right? It, they helped him a lot. I know because I worked right. with you in this case. You know, they didn't cure him of Crohn's disease. That would have been lovely, but definitely worth his effort. Right. I think what people would probably want to know if I had Crohn's disease and I was listening to this is how often did you see him? Mm-hmm. Like how, how, and, you know, so he practiced every day. He was clearly motivated. Not everyone practices every day, but he did, which is great. And, um, how often did you see him like over that year? Like, Yeah. So uh, I believe we ended up having 12 sessions over the course of about nine months. So it was, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. closer maybe every two weeks to start. And then we spaced it out to once a month. Right. So not a massive time commitment on his part. No, no. I mean, most of the time he's, you know, it was, he spent practicing. His practices were about 20 minutes to 40 minutes every day. That was my other question, because that's what we all want to know. How long am I doing this? Great, great. Well, um, you know, we're both happy that things worked out for him. And uh, it's a great example. You did an excellent job with him and a great example of how we can help as yoga therapists. So thanks for sharing that with us. Thank you.